I know that you're playing a lot of celebrity basketball tournaments these days. I is am. that right? I am. I play below the rim, but I still play the game, yes. Okay. You know, Kevin Hart, who I've gotten to know a little bit, he mm -hmm. used to play in those Yes, he used to play. He, but he, he, did, he I understand he doesn't play anymore, but he likes to coach? He, he, well, this year in Toronto, he was the coach of the West Coast celebrity team, and we played against the uh, uh, Canadian team coached by Drake. Uh, Kevin has... Uh, put himself on a self-imposed retirement because he has been the MVP for the celebrity game for the last four years. So he was the player slash coach. Now, normally, you're supposed to look up to your coach, literally and figuratively. Yeah. It, it was hard for us to do that as a team. You know, Kevin is only 4'11". Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, uh, and all he did was talk about himself. Well, you know, when I played, when I won MVP, we were like, get the hell out of here, you little midget boy. But uh, he ended up uh, we were down at halftime, so he did this dramatic thing. He went into the locker room, unbeknownst to us, and changed into a uniform and came out to the Rocky theme uh, and uh, checked himself into the game. I thought you were going to say, and checked himself into the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> no, checked himself into the game. Did yeah. he play? He did, and he used his height to his advantage. But how can, I mean, he's, how does he, yeah, how does he, how can he play well at that height? Well, when you only come up to the kneecaps of the people that you're playing, you know, it's hard for them to get down to your level. So, you know, he just dribbled through the legs and, you know, yeah. <laughs> he just goes through and they don't even see him. We don't. Right? We don't. We stepped on him a few times, but, you know, <laughs> he's all right.